So you can see that we've got, uh, still have some of the old equipment uh, mounted here. We're obviously going to be getting rid of the old Ederol video switcher. Got an old Canon GL2 that they were using. Going to be replacing that with the uh, PTZ Optics 20X camera. We're going to be getting rid of this whole rack of old stuff. Um, this little uh, composite distribution amp we can get rid of. They've got all these wires that need to be removed. They've cleared out uh, the rack. They've removed some of the old analog equipment. Uh, made space for the new stuff that we're going to put in. Uh, we're going to start by putting in the Smart View Duo here. And we're going to start getting this this system all put together. See how it goes. Alright, we've downloaded vMix which we're going to do our switching with. So I just got the decimator mounted on the back of the rack here. Uh, we're going to be feeding that uh, HDMI from the uh, Intensity Pro coming out of the PC. And that's going to be feeding this HDMI to Cat6 uh, distribution amp. Those Cat6 feeds are going to be going out to uh, three monitors in classrooms and the projector up top. The decimator will also be feeding SDI to our Smart View Duo up front here. Been working on pulling out all this old composite cable. This camera is a stand in. We're going to get our PTZ camera in here tomorrow. Uh, not to mention, we'll be going from composite standard definition to uh, digital high definition. <clears throat> We've got a temporary feed uh, going into our, our program monitor here. But we need to go out from uh, the SmartView Duo into our PC down here. So that's why we're using the DeckLink Mini Recorder. I'm going to use that SDI input. So I need to install that next. So we're making some progress here. We have uh, our camera coming in. We can see it here. There's a nice ladder in the image there. And then we have our, our second source here which is a PowerPoint presentation and that is coming from the uh, pulpit up here. The preachers will run their PowerPoint presentations on this and so we installed vMix desktop capture and so once you do that uh, it's really easy to send this PowerPoint over the network uh, to the uh, vMix computer up here in the balcony. It's just a fantastic way to do it. It actually saved quite a bit of money because the other method was to use like a DAC70 and go VGA into that and then run an SDI cable all the way up and over there um, to input into a capture card. So uh, we saved all that trouble and that money um, by using vMix. Pretty sweet. We've also set up our uh, HDMI to CAT6 converter. It's a box that has four outputs. So right now we've got three of them populated. Two are going to uh, monitors in classrooms so that the program feed can go out there. So we've got the CAT6 coming out of the wall here, which goes down to this little converter box. Uh, which converts it back to HDMI and then the HDMI cable just runs into the back of the, uh, of the TV so it's uh, a pretty sweet system and that uh, CAT6 cable run was uh, 100 feet so and not a problem a beautiful signal but we also have an HDMI feed going to the NEC projector up here it's being fed from that uh, HDMI to CAT6 uh, distribution amp and there's a little box up here that uh, converts it back to HDMI and got a beautiful output signal over here. Right now we're seeing uh, the program feed so if I, if I do a transition here you can see it happen up there so things are looking good. 
you were previously uh, capturing video to the system drive, which is never a good idea. So we are going to install just an external drive, USB 3, lots of space. We're going to be capturing H.264 video uh, ready to go right to the web, so we don't have to have tons of speed. Uh, so this should work just fine with a USB 3 connection. So here's the PTZ Optics 20X camera that we installed here. Certainly looks much sleeker than what we had here before. And there's actually only three wires here. An Ethernet cable, an SDI cable, and a power cable. And they're nicely covered here. Haven't done it all the way, but... Here we've got the uh, PTZ Optics open source software for setting presets for the PTZ camera. Dave's working on that right now. You can see vMix running in the background here. So this web interface uh, is supplied by PTZ Optics and you can just create your own presets. And I'll show you here, we've got, uh, like for instance, two sacrament tables, one on the left. Boom, there we are. We've got one on the right. Boom. Uh, back to the uh, podium, medium shot. Podium close up. They have a baptismal font behind the podium, so we can go there. And then we can also do a wide, a wide shot. So that's pretty sweet. So here's a wide view of the balcony. You can see that we got rid of that big cart. So it looks much, much nicer. Still have a little bit of wiring not to clean up here, but it looks so much nicer up here. So we're in the foyer here, the, the main foyer of the church, and you can see we've got a nice output from the camera here. Previously they had comp uh, composite video running to the TVs. Uh, running through so many things it was just absolutely fuzzy by the time that it got here. But this is nice and crisp. Oh, it looks beautiful. Here's how it looks from, uh, from down here where the congregation sits. Just a nice little bump up there on the wall. A nice little workstation over here. Cleaned out a lot of the old stuff there.